Let's get back to the Outer Banks where the wind is still pretty powerful this afternoon. Our Lex Gray has been in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina for the last two days, but now she's about 36 miles farther south in Rodanthe. And Lex, it looks pretty grim out there today compared to the little bit of sunshine we saw yesterday, and we can hear the wind. Yeah, it's pretty gloomy out here, and the reason that we decided to drive south from uh, Kitty Hawk area and Nags Head was just to see if there would be any flooding or overwash in, on NC-12, and we found it. So this is Merlot Beach, which is just north of Rodanthe, as you're approaching Rodanthe along NC-12, and what we found going across the Bonner Bridge, Dare County deputies are actually stationed there, and they are not allowing visitors, only people who are property owners or who work over here are allowed across the Bonner Bridge. They allowed us just so that we could show you conditions here. And what you can see is actually, you just saw it, a big swell coming up from the Atlantic and it washes right out onto the road here. There's really nothing to stop it. The sand isn't stopping it. It's just coming up too high. And we can also show you closer video from Kitty Hawk earlier this morning of the Atlantic Ocean. It is just churning here and that's because of the high winds. And what I found when I was talking to business owners is that they Seem pretty concerned about their employees' welfare both today and tomorrow. So at Sam and Omi's, where we got breakfast, they were talking about the possibility of not opening in the morning uh, just because of the drive that some of their employees have. They didn't want them crossing bridges. That's the same thing for Jeanette's Pier. They actually already made the decision to open two hours late tomorrow morning, not until eight o'clock, because uh, the manager there told me that he did not want his employees having to drive in the dark. Outer Banks Fishing Pier in Nags Head, they are decided to close today or tomorrow. And of course, uh, Dare County schools are closed today as well. And the ferries to and from Ocracoke and Hatteras Islands are shut down. So that's the kind of thing that we're going to keep monitoring all day long. We'll be back here at 1230 in a half an hour from now just to show you uh, the road conditions here and whether that makes any kind of change. Donna Katie. And Lex, thank you very much. And right now, our Madi Elena Valores is at the oceanfront where it is more of the same. Lots of gray skies and heavy winds for people hitting the beach today. That is right, Don Katie. The wind is the biggest thing that we are seeing out here at the oceanfront today. If you look down the boardwalk, you'll see the plants, all the flags. They are moving in the wind, but people are out here walking. That's what we've seen the most of today. People walking, whether it's on the boardwalk or out on the beach. Now the winds are gusting around 30 miles per hour. They're averaging 10 to 20 miles per hour, so they're pretty heavy winds that you're going to feel if you're walking out here. Now over at the beach, we are seeing some pretty big waves out here, bigger than normal for sure. They are huge waves and the rain. It's been drizzling a little bit, but nothing too bad. There have only been a few people that have ventured out into the water. I think maybe less than five people that I've counted this morning, but we did catch one man on his way out of the water. His sister said she was a little bit scared when he was in there. Scary when I saw him going inside. The water is not cold. It's very nice, but uh, I got a point that I say, please don't go more because it's just scary to see the waves. Now we mentioned out here on the boardwalk that they had the flags and the plants that are all blowing in the wind, but we also have these tents set up. That is for the upcoming Neptune Festival. We're set to meet with one of the organizers in a little bit. She said they are not worried about the weather for this weekend. You'll hear from her tonight on Wavy News 10 starting at 4. For now, live at the oceanfront, I'm Maria Elena Boloris, 10 on your side. As we continue to follow Maria's track and how she impacting our area, this is a good time for everyone to download our Wavy Weather app. It gives you a real-time look at radar and hour-by-hour -hour forecasts. You can also sign up for alerts that let you know if or when a storm is expected to move into the area.